Remember that thing that was freaking me out last night? Well, in a odd turn of events, when I woke up, I called the number I was told to call, and I got some random guy in Nevada who had no clue what I was talking about. Good afternoon, shunshiners and possibly shunshaders. For the first time in a while, I feel very well rested. Not completely well rested, but very well rested. Okay, so because uh, I was worried, I actually uh, tweeted at the people I'm partnered with and uh, they confirmed what I already suspected. YouTube doesn't call you with copyright issues, so I don't know how this person got my number. It may have been a prank. Anyways, here's the message. I will bleep out the number when I edit this because it is some guy's actual like cell phone number out in Nevada. So I don't want that all over the web. But the rest of the message you can hear. Okay, then this is, um... Soria, Soria Flink, and I'd like you to contact me when you can. Um, I've tried to touch base with you multiple times here. I am with the contract for your YouTube connection here. Um, it seems here that one of your videos has currently avoided one of our copyrights, and we would really like to touch base with you on the subject. Um, if you could call me back at my personal number, remember my name is Sierra Fult. Uh, I, I'd really like to touch base with you on this subject. Um, it, it just has not been very, uh, really need to get the issue resolved. We have a copyright segment. Um, one of your songs that you have posted there seems to be have taken from a back office website. All right, you have a good one, and bye. Okay, I have two things to mention. One, um, if you're not, like, following me on all my social networks, then you probably were unaware that I did something, uh, a little special for my 100th, not 100th, that was a while ago, a thousandth vlog, where I had you, uh, send in submissions, uh, saying, like, yay, 1,000, or 1,000th vlog, as a, uh, way of jogging my memory, uh, yesterday morning. Um, about what day it was. If you missed that, uh, maybe I'll do it again for 2000. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if I do anything like that again, I probably won't mention it in the vlog. That way, it's more of a surprise when it happens. So, all my social network links are in the description. Um, the second thing is I finally, after like, what was it, three, four months, am uh, getting my bike fixed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I finally called the bike shop. They'll be here tomorrow morning to pick up my bike, fix it, and then bring it back in a couple days. And then I can start biking to school instead of wasting money on gas to go like, a block and a half. <laughs> so I lost track of time watching, oddly enough, Twitch plays Pokemon. I missed the initial uh, live stream of the first Pokemon, but so much uh, videos I saw on YouTube about what happened on it piqued my interest. Anyways, I'm a tad bit late for class. Good thing it's the first day. Hi. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Um, he stopped me and uh, said, hey, I want to be in your vlog. And I was in the wrong building. So it looks like I really will be late for class. Great. Guess I should have looked at my schedule before walking into a building. So there's something that uh, happened today that's been happening for a while that's kind of becoming funny, though it's still incredibly annoying, even for me. Um, basically, because of last month and having classes that start at 9 a.m. and classes that start at 1.15 p.m., 
I had two sets of alarms. One set of those alarms uh, would go off in the middle of the uh, like um, 9 a.m. class, I think, or towards the end or whatever. So I managed to make it so they were every other day and they would stop. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, another alarm would start going off that I didn't even know was on. So now with new classes that start in the evening, pretty much all my other alarms won't go off during class. Then, today, I forgot that I had an alarm at like 7.50 uh, for How I Met Your Mother, which I believe finished the season. So I should turn that alarm off anyways. That goes off. It's like, great, I thought I turned off all my alarms. So I just realized something. Full sale is only 20 months long, which means every five months, technically, I move up a grade. Since this is my sixth month at Full Sail, yeah, I'm a sophomore now. Well, most likely, nothing interesting will happen and I won't do anything interesting between now and when I actually go to bed. So, I am going to end the vlog now. <coughs> As I kill over and die. No, um, good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. If anything interesting does happen, it'll be a bonus clip following the outro. Which, by the way, I did not mention it yesterday. But yes, there is a new outro. Anyways, if you enjoy watching my videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button and awkward cut to what is in my opinion and most of my friends' opinions, the best outro montage I have had so far. I mean, the first one was great that I didn't edit, so I guess technically the best that I edited so far. Awkward cut. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade.